I know what it feels like to be broken. I know what it feels like to be homeless. I know what it feels like to be ignored. You get into a place where you feel like nobody needs you. Nobody believes you. I know what it feels like for people to tell you to write the book, watch the course, and then when you do it, nobody invests in it. The hour is now for game changers to emerge, for the forgotten, for the rejected, for the ignored, to come out of the ashes and into the light, out of obscurity and into victory. Take the throw with everything that you have in you. The hour is now. I am coming for the throne. I'm coming for every room that you lock me out of. Every realm that I step into, I will dominate. I am determined to win, no matter what season I'm in. When you counted me out, when you rejected me, when you overlooked me, when you ignored me, I waited painfully in obscurity for the opportunity to take the throne. I am your replacement. Your rejection has forged a new fire inside of me. Man, I'm climbing the ladder. I'm bringing my team. I'm coming for magazines and movie screens, billboards and awards, movie scores and labels. I'm signing checks and contracts on every table. I'm no longer stuck in the basement, stuck in the gutter. I'm leaving the casket. You saved me, vacant. You were here, my feet walking the pavement. No more complacent, driven, persistent, and relentless are all an understatement. Who am I? I'm sorry, not sorry. I am unapologetically your replacement. I have worked while you have slept. I have learned while you have partied. I have saved while you have spent. And I will live like you dream. I am relentless. I am resilient. I will not back down. I will not surrender. I am now an agent of change and transformation. I am your replacement. Every room that I walk in, I will change the game. I'm influencing neighborhoods and towns, startups and corporations, from the forgotten about hoods to the nations. I'm coming to reconstruct and resurrect broken foundations, leaving everybody that rejected me out of the equation. The marathon continues. The Lamba mentality has left a mark Shout out to the NBA legend, Kobe, and your daughter, Gigi. From Tom Brady to Drew Bledsoe, rain, sleep, or snow, I cry. I cry. I am clutch. I am the difference maker. I am the game changer. Make this moment the moment of truth about yourself. Many of you have been selling yourself short all of your life. You have the opportunity to experience more environmental, physical, and mental abundance. Someone who is in a constant state of elevation, their self-talk is, I know who I am, I know where I'm going, and I know where I came from. I want to continue the conversation of self awareness you know there are a few quotes that i love and want to share with you as it pertains to the conversation of self-awareness and the quote is there is definitely a direct connection between finding your passion and reaching your potential you will never fulfill your destiny doing work you despise passion gives you an advantage over others because one person with passion is greater than 99 who have only an interest 
Passion gives you energy. Are you aware of what you are doing with your day-to-day -day time, your grind? Do you like your current relationships? Do you like your circle of influence? Do you like your wardrobe? I think a lot of us, we are programmed to hold on to things that we no longer like. The time is now to step into a place of diligence, hustle, humility, and hunger. The future belongs to the hungry, the humble, the hustler. These are those that will take the throne. There was a new breed of Mamba mentality game changers that in every room that they step in, they are agents of transformation. They are 30,000 feet above the noise. They are architects, pioneers, innovators, students, athletes, lawyers, doctors. I'm sounding the alarm that a new mentality will emerge inside of you. Elevated people know who they are. Uh, they know what they believe, the role in life they are presently filling, their great personal potential. When you are self-aware, you need to be extremely cognizant of your evolution and the fact that you're going to change, the fact that you're not going to be the same person you are. It's a very dangerous thing to be in a place where you are growing, but your life is not. You're still connected to people and places that you've outgrown. It's a very dangerous thing to be in a place like that because you end up dwarfing everybody and everything in your life. Do you like what you're doing and do you like where you're going? Let me ask you another question. What would you like to do? If you don't like what you're doing and you don't like where you are and you don't like your relationships and you don't like X, Y, or Z, what do you want? What do you like? And then you gotta be able to add passion to it to activate that thing and make that dream a reality. Are you fully aware of the bridges that are required to cross over to make your dream a reality? I think a lot of people, they have this vision in their head, this dream, but they don't know how to make it a reality. We navigate through life and we keep missing the bridges to bridge the gap between dream and reality. So do you know what is required of you? Are you aware of what is required of you to make happen what you see only in your head? I wanna give you another quote. Almost every man wastes part of his life in attempts to display qualities which he does not possess. I want you to ask yourself the question, are you the person that is projecting a different you to the world on social media, on your websites, in your meetings, are you projecting a different you? Are you the same person in private? And I know that there are multiple versions of yourself, or even I have multiple versions of me, but are they consistent? I wanna ask you the question, are you aware of your why? Are you aware of your why? So now that you've discovered, okay, I'm not doing what I wanna do, and I need to learn how to do what I wanna do, and I need to figure out the bridge, to bridge the gap between the dream and the reality, do you know why? you want to do what you actually want to do. What is your why? Because if the why is great enough, if you're aware of that why, then you can begin to back that why up with work ethic. Every why has got to be backed up by work. You want to be committed? You want to be consistent. You want to be creative. You want to be purposeful. You want to be reflective. And you want to be grateful. These are just a few things that you want to be as you are moving forward in your self-awareness. You've identified your weaknesses. You've identified that there is, a, there is a gap between who you are, what you want, and where you want to be. There's a massive gap. Awareness and the acceptance of that awareness is the bridge to the future. This is going to connect you to your destiny tribe. Your destiny tribe comes with multiple types of people. What would you like to do? What do you believe you've been destined to do? What talents, skills, giftings, and abilities do you possess to support your desire to do it? What are your motives for wanting to do it? Why do you want to become what you are looking to become? What steps are you taking 
to become and to live the life, to make the dream a reality. When you have awareness and you have your actions, but you have no accountability, you set yourself up for a great fall. Let me ask you a question. What price are you willing to pay to make the dream a reality? How aware are you? Are you aware of the price that you are willing to pay relationally, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually? There is a price to pay to manifest a dream. You know, two of the greatest moments in an individual's life is the day they were born and the day that they realize why they were born. Are you aware of your why? Why are you here? What are you doing? Who are you connected to? What are your people, your places, and your purpose?